Small Landing Saloon again, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I've had a lot of requests, a lot of emails, comments on my channel asking for this video. Can you show us how to sharpen a lawnmower blade? Why, yes, I can. I'm going to do one step better than that even. I'm going to show you how to sharpen a lawnmower blade, and then I'm going to show you how to balance it properly too, which is very important also. The first thing you got to do to do this job, you got to go get yourself some Heineken. Unfortunately, that's the only beer you can use for doing this job. Next thing you need to do is get your blade off. If you don't know how to get your blade off, or even if you think you do, um, go back to my channel. I have a video on my channel called um, How to Install Your Lawnmower Blade Properly. That gives you a couple good tips and tricks on how to get your lawnmower blade off, and then also how to put it back on properly so it's not upside down. Go look at that. Get your lawnmower blade off. Next thing you need to do is you need to have something to sharpen it with. If you got a big file, like a hand file, axe file or something like that, don't even bother. You need a power tool of some kind to do this. Otherwise, you're going to be there all day. Today, I'm going to show you how to do this with our angle grinder. The other thing that you can use for, for doing this video is a bench grinder. Believe it or not, I don't have a bench grinder in the saloon, but hopefully, just so you know what I'm talking about, April, do you have that picture of that bench grinder there? Boom, there you go, that's a bench grinder. It doesn't really matter how you sharpen the blade in, in respect to how you're actually taking the metal off of there, how you're actually sharpening it, the real point is, is the end result for how that blade ends up. Next thing you have to do is decide right now if your blade is actually worth sharpening or not. <laughs> you have a blade that looks like that right there. You see that? Don't even bother sharpening that thing. You put that on your lawnmower, you just converted your lawnmower into a rototiller. You gotta look down that blade. Look down it like it's a gun barrel. Gun barrel that thing. There's my new word of the day right there. Gun barrel it. Look down that thing like that. Flip it over. Look down that side again. Both sides like that until they look the same to you. If it looks the same to you when you gun barrel that thing down there, it's probably straight enough. If you don't get it perfectly straight, it's going to vibrate on you when you're using it, the lawnmower. Buy yourself a new blade if you think your blade is too badly bent. If you're using an angle grinder to do it, my favorite way of holding that is just to pinch that in your, in your bench vise again. You pinch that in there like that and then you run the blade up and down here if you don't have a bench grinder if you don't have a bench vise all as you have is an angle grinder i don't see any reason why you can't just hold that in your hand like that and just eye protection um, ear protection gloves probably hold that in your hand and just run that blade up and down like that as you're holding it in your hand I can't see why you can't do that. Give that a shot. The key points to sharpening your lawnmower blade is this. When I sharpen a lawnmower blade, I try to sharpen it back to what it looked like when it was originally a new blade. Now you see the, how sharp this edge is. That is the, the angle of the blade, what they are new. This is a new blade. Some people will actually sharpen their blade at a steeper angle down like this because it saves time. But you're not getting that original angle, that real sharp angle on there. You want to keep sharpening this thing on the top side of your blade only. The top side. That's the reason that you have to take it off of your lawnmower to do this. 
If it's on your lawnmower, there's no way to sharpen the top side of the blade without taking it off. You can't sharpen the bottom side of the blade. You can't sharpen this thing like a knife where you have, you go at a, a 45 degree on one side to 45 degree on the other side, sharpen it like, like a knife. You can't do that. If you sharpen it like that, like a knife, or if you only sharpen it on the bottom side, you don't bother taking it off. What that's going to do is it's going to tear your grass off. It's not going to slice your grass off evenly and cleanly. It's going to end up ripping or tearing your grass off. Next day, you're going to go out on your nice manicured lawn and you're going to see these little brown tips all over your grass because they're torn. I'm going to show you a quick demo right here. I'm going to put this in my vise right now. I'm going to use the angle grinder so you can see how I'm actually sharpening that. Keep sharpening it at the proper angle for as long as you need to. Take off as much material as you need to until you look at the bottom side of your blade, the grass side of your blade, and all these little rock chips like this are all gone. All these dings are gone. And it looks like this. Nice and smooth along that cutting edge right there. See the difference between those two? Good job, guys. Now you got a perfectly straight blade, perfectly sharp blade in your hand. Now, when you were sharpening that blade to get it perfectly sharp on both sides, there's a good chance that you actually ended up removing more material off of one side than the other side. Your blade might not be perfectly balanced now. It might be heavier on one side or the other. The reason that we want to have a perfectly balanced blade on your lawnmower is because that it'll vibrate if it's not balanced. If it's really out of balance, First of all, it's going to vibrate so bad that you're barely going to be able to hold on to that thing. It's going to make your hands numb holding on to it. Second problem with that is your lawnmower will literally tear itself apart. I'm not kidding. You're going to have broken bolts coming out. You're going to have loose bolts falling out. You're going to have right where the lawnmower engine is bolted down to the body of your lawnmower, the deck of your lawnmower. Those mounts will start cracking and breaking. You will destroy your lawnmower after time. You want to balance this blade now. This is easy to do. Here's one right here. I know this is new. Here's a little blade balancer. You can go get one of these from your small engine shop. They're cheap. I put this one on. I know it's balanced. That's balanced. Never been sharpened, I already know it's balanced. That looks great. This one here, not so much. See the difference? That's heavier on that side than it is on this side. The easiest way to balance your blade is to just keep removing material off of the heavy side. Best way to do that, in my opinion, is just to keep sharpening it. Do what you were doing before. Just keep sharpening it and keep sharpening it, even though it's sharp on that side. You're not worried about that anymore. All you're doing is removing more material. Keep sharpening it on that side until it's going to be flat and evened out on your balancer. It's as easy as that. Now, you don't have one of these things. You don't have access to one of these things. You don't want one of these things. Put it aside. You're going to see some videos out there that are going to tell you how to balance a blade and they're going to say, pound a nail in the wall and just hang your blade on a nail to do that. Well, I don't think that's reliable. That's my opinion. I'm going to show you why right now. There's our blade right there. I know it's balanced. We just balanced it on the balancer. You put a nail in the wall, you hang it on the wall. Does that look balanced? It doesn't look balanced to me. Like, you can do whatever you want on that nail, and how is that reliable? In, in my opinion, that is a very unreliable way of balancing your blade. If you don't want that specific balancer, here's my next favorite way of balancing a blade. 
That is a six inch extension for a ratchet. Put that down and put your blade on it right in the center so you can see through that center hole. Now grab that extension and just roll it back and forth till it's balanced. You look down through that center hole and you can see whether that extension is in the dead center of that hole or not. That is perfect right there. Here's the one that's out of balance. We'll do it with that one. I roll that back and forth until it's actually balancing. And you can see that there's balance right there. But you can clearly see looking through that center hole right there that the extension is nowhere near in the center of that hole. It's, that's more reliable than putting the old nail in the wall trick, I'll tell you that. So I hope that was clear enough and thorough enough for you guys. I hope I didn't bore you guys to death with that one. But you know me, I like to be as clear and as thorough better than the other guy out there. So if you liked it, please give me that thumbs up button there. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. That'd be awesome. Till the next episode again, guys. Steve out.